let's talk about yeast infections and the menstrual cycle. As if getting your period wasn't annoying enough, a lot of people actually experience yeast infections during or after their period. And this is due to two main reasons. The first is hormonal changes. And the second is fluctuations in vaginal pH due to menstrual blood. So throughout your cycle, hormonal changes can affect yeast growth in your vaginal microbiome. And it all has to do with estrogen levels. So one thing that happens is that right before and during your period, estrogen levels are at their lowest. And this creates a less acidic environment that favors yeast growth. On top of that, higher estrogen levels will encourage candida growth. Candida is the type of fungus that can uh, cause a yeast infection. Estrogen will peak during ovulation and during the luteal phase, and estrogen actually helps yeast attach to your vaginal wall more easily. The other thing that can happen during your cycle is the presence of menstrual blood can actually affect the pH of your vaginal microbiome. Menstrual blood has a higher pH than the pH of a healthy acidic vaginal microbiome, and so this can actually raise the entire pH of your vaginal microbiome, making it more susceptible to yeast growth. Research also shows that levels of lactobacilli, the protective bacteria, decrease during your period, which can contribute to a change in pH and offers less protection against yeast overgrowth.